Rats are clever animals, they're easily trainable. You could consider this as a rat school. For the last three years we are working at uh, rats being used for the detection of tuberculosis, um, which is very promising in fact, uh, because on a weekly basis we, we, we pick out about 10 patients which have been missed in the hospital. TB kills half a million people a year in Africa, one and a half thousand every day. The rats can detect early signs of the virus in human saliva. Every time they identify a positive sample, the trainers make a click sound and a food reward of mashed banana follows. These rats are at an early stage of training to get them used to the click sound. This is the instrument that makes us to communicate with the animal. The moment when the animal hears this sound, it means that it has to stop what it is doing and then come for food. They then have to learn that sniffing in a hole will lead to the click and reward. After the rat knows how to put the hole, how to put the nose on the hole, then it will be easy when I present a sample on that hole. And that is the way how the rat learns the, 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 the task. There are further stages to accustom the rats to the smell of the virus and then to indicate when they have smelt it. Once this is done, the rats know that a whiff of TB results in a tasty treat. The training at this rat school is highly effective. What would take a human scientist all day to diagnose takes the rats a mere seven minutes. They're also extremely accurate. We've got people now coming automatically to us. Hey, can our rats, can your rats uh, test us for tuberculosis? Because they had heard it in the newspapers in several places. And our rats are picking out some cases which are missed by the conventional methods. So what makes a rat's sense of smell so superior to a human's? This is Banu Rao, a cheese shop owner with a famous sense of smell. I'm one of the best cheese noses in the UK. I have judged three international cheese competitions and I have judged two British cheese competitions. I am a cheese expert. And this is Mandy the Rat, one of the Tanzanian rat school's champion sniffers. Mandy's nose makes about eight sniffs per second, compared to about two for Banu and the rest of us. It's a cheddar. That's the Stilton. It's a brie. It smells worse than nappy. It is a smelly and wash rind cheese. Again, this is a blue cheese, Harbon Blue. Ghost cheese. Whilst Banu is very good at identifying types of cheese simply from their smell, Mandy sniffs in stereo. She can differentiate two very similar smells with just one sniff. About one in every hundred of Mandy's genes is given over to odour detection. Poor old Banu has to make do with one in every thousand. From a droplet of urine left by another rat, Mandy can determine its gender, sexual maturity and reproductive status. Now, that's one test we won't be trying on Banu. <laughs> <laughs> 